everyone, what's up? This is Rich. Here's a basic primer on Windows Media Player 11. A lot of you out there haven't gone over and made the switch over to 11 from version 10 or even 9. <clears throat> and i just like to say it's not that bad. Once you get used to it, it's not bad at all actually. I'll just give you a quick primer on it. I'll just launch it right here. Now the first thing you're going to mend, uh, excuse me, first thing you're going to see uh, is this thing called Urge. When you download it, you have the option of whether to get Urge or not, but most of them are going to deal with it. There's a way to get rid of this easily. When you have your window open far enough, you'll see the Urge thing up here. You can actually click the little down arrow and just go to Media Guide. Changes it over to a Microsoft flag, which a lot of people like better than seeing this big Urge thing up at the uh, top right of the screen. And then when you go to the Now Playing, it just shows it as blank. Over here we have our playlist. I don't have anything in the playlist currently, uh, but I do have an MP3 down here. Now, in order to play a music file or a video file that it's compatible, you can, which is pretty much almost anything, you can either double click the file or you can simply drop and drag and it'll start playing the file. You have the default visualization going on here and uh, let me just turn that down a little bit and uh, what you can do is get rid of this if you want uh, by hitting if you hit this X it actually s stops playing the song and you'll have to start playing it again if you want to get rid of the sidebar you can click this arrow at the top right and it gets rid of it to get it back you have to go to the now playing tab and then choose show list pane and then it will show it once again <clears throat> Now something that I find really cool about Windows Media Player 11 that none of the other ones have been able to do very well is a compact mode. Now I'll show you what that is. If you go to the bottom right here, it'll say switch to compact mode. Look how small that gets. This is a beautiful thing. Now what's even cooler about this is that you can click in this bar. You can change it to time remaining, uh, start from zero, or how much is played and the total of the song and the the title is over here and also you can click this too you can change it if there was album art for this one it would show it but you can also get a nice little LED bar here this is slick I do like this nice and your audio is right here you can turn it up turn it down mute it unmute it to go back uh, you can just click the bottom right again and it goes right back to where it was. It's very, very easy to use. I'm glad that they did this. This is a very cool feature of uh, Media Player 11. I like it that they designed it this way. It's very cool looking. Now some things I'm going to show you here that uh, those who use Media Player 10 and 9, where is all the stuff? Where's the visualizations? Where's this? Where's that? Well, here's a little primer on that. If we right click anywhere in here, we can choose the visualization if we want. I have a couple ones that I downloaded here, uh, but we'll just go and choose uh, bars and ways. This is a stock one that comes with it. Uh, or we can choose any one that we want. Whatever works for you. Uh, now, if you want to get, let me just go back to where I was there. Now, if we want to get to the actual tools menu and things like that, we can right click up in this black bar area up here you can do the classic menus if you want and it'll actually show the menus up here or we can get rid of that if we want just get rid of that tools options brings up the all too familiar menu when you want to uh, customize the uh, custom options of the media player also what you can do is when you want to do the enhancements that's over at view and then enhancements and then show a lot of people like to use this stuff down here so if you want to play it you know something faster or slower at single speed or whatever there's also the quiet mode the SRS wow effects the video settings color chooser um, we can change the color of the media player to whatever we choose. You can also reset it, which I also appreciate, and then get rid of it afterwards.
Okay, the last thing I'm going to mention here as part of my review is some people I have noticed have been having problems playing DVDs inside Windows Media Player. The first thing that you need in order to get a DVD to play properly is the right codec. Now I'm going to bring up a browser here. The website that you want is microsoft.com slash windows slash media player excuse me slash windows media slash player slash plugins dot ASPX and you'll notice here there are several DVD decoders MPEG-2 decoder plugins that you can get this one's for Windows Vista there's also ones for Windows XP you can get whatever one that you want um, normally I would recommend any one of these is fine uh, some you have to pay for some you don't most you do uh, depending on the hardware that you have is depending on the one that you uh, you know choose basically there's the Roxio one there's InterVideo, NVIDIA's DVD decoder and Cyberlinks I just from my experience prefer Cyberlink that seems to be the best one as far as that's concerned but let's just say for the moment you already have that installed and it's still not playing right what you can do is go to tools and then options and then performance and then advanced over here at video acceleration and DVD video you can try disabling the overlays or just disabling the video mixing renderers altogether usually that will fix the problem if it doesn't fix the problem then you either need to reinstall the codec or you need to reinstall the media player again pretty basic not that big of a deal and with that said that's it for this little uh, how-to review thingy enjoy people hey.